Hi, uh, this is Dr. Priya here, Consultant Laparoscopic Gynae Surgeon, RTS Hospital. Today we are going to speak about what is Merina. Merina is a intrauterine device which looks similar to a copper tea which is used for a contraception. Now, Merina can work both as a contraceptive and in cases of heavy menstrual bleeding. If it is used as a contraception, it works for 7 to 8 years. And in cases of heavy menstrual bleeding, it is going to last for 5 years. So, where is Mirena used in case of heavy menstrual bleeding? Whenever there are uh, no identifiable causes of heavy menstrual bleeding or thickened endometrial lining in cases of uh, PCOD or in cases of adenomyosis, which does not require a surgery or in cases of diffuse adenomyosis, the Mirena can be used in a heavy menstrual bleeding. Now, what to expect after Mirena insertion? This Mirena insertion is an OPD procedure which will be done without any under anesthesia and the patient can immediately walk out of the OPD as normal as she came in. Now, after we advise the patient to take uh, three months of hormonal contraceptive so that expected bleeding irregularities are present in Mirena insertion. So once this is done, the other bleeding uh, abnormalities or uh, has to be understood. Like either patient can fall in any of the three categories. One, either she can become amenorrheic, means completely she will not be getting any periods for the time till the Mirena is present, like five years. That is one category. The second category is where uh, the patient can have only spotting bleeding instead of a normal periods. Or the third category is where patient can have a normal periods even with the Mirena inside. Now, all these three categories are still considered normal. But what happens is for the Mirena to get adjusted for a person may take three to six months at the max. So in that case, we are giving a hormonal contraceptive for three months to compensate for the bleeding irregularities that are expected and can happen. So what next? So once this Mirena is inserted, after five years, the patient can come back and we do a regular scan and we see how her symptoms are. If her symptoms are all reduced and if she is all fine, she can get it removed and get a new Mirena inserted and which will again last for five years. So this can be done multiple times till she reaches the age of natural menopause or she is completely asymptomatic without the Mirena being reinserted. Now, Mirena can be used in some special situations like where I said it can be used in thickened ET. That means where you get a histopathology report as endometrial hyperplasia with atypia or without atypia means an abnormal changes in the cellular level. That can also be given a chance of Mirena insertion if the patient is not elderly and she is not looking for a hysterectomy or the uterus removal. But a constant uh, endometrial sampling where we take the endometrium for the histopathology and see if the hyperplasia changes have reverted back or has it progressed even with the Mirena in situ. So uh, this is all about Mirena. In case you have any uh, queries, you can uh, log into our website or you can contact us.